Hello Raiders. I'm Carolina Ramirez, here to do a border collie what to know, rather heard than called off, for the week of November 13th. Please listen carefully to this information. The CHU program is a community resource that Chaseville Santa Angela Public Schools partners with to help feed our children in need. They provide each school with weekend food bags that go home with students that may have a food insecurity. The demand of food in Chase and Santa Angela counties are high, and with the holidays right around the corner, they are in need of food donations. Tesla High School's food drive will take place next week, November 14th to 18th, and food donation drop-off will be in the library. Good news everybody, the SAT scholarship amounts have increased. 75 hours of community services can receive $750 scholarship and 100 hours of community service can get a $1,500 scholarships. If you have any questions about the SAT scholarship, please see your counselor. Also consider these two opportunities, two to three volunteers are needed for the following parades. Listen carefully for these parades, here they are. Chaseville Downtown, Uptown and Midtown Holiday Parade, Saturday November 19, volunteers will need to arrive at the staging area at Tailslandian Riverside Park no later than 8 a.m. on that morning. This year's parade theme is 12 Days of Christmas and they should dress accordingly. Historic Santa Angela Holiday Parade, Saturday December 10, volunteers will need to arrive at the staging area at the Holiday Inn Express Historic Santa Angela no later than 3.30 p.m. that afternoon. The parade itself is at night, so volunteers might want to wear something that lights up. If interested, please see Mr. Astro in Student Services. The last day for the second grading period is November 22nd in which the Deviant Art Profile for Chaseville Condor's 107 suspension and the Bullworth Airport flight suspension expires. At this time parents, I would like to remind you and students that in accordance with Policy 7787, any student that has more than 10 unexcused absences will be in danger of not receiving credit for their class. Students need to make sure all notes are turned into the office upon their return following the absence and we mean it this time. Senior pictures, which will be the traditional drapes and tux pictures will be taken on December 11th at the Hilton Downtown Hotel in Chaseville at 5 o'clock, 6.30, or 8 p.m. Seniors, mid-year and three-year grads can participate. Students that have late arrival, early release or attend the Skills Center need to reach out to Mrs. Hamilton so that an alternate time slot will be provided. Drapes and tux jackets will be provided. Students and parents, please be aware that at any report of the possibility of threat will be investigated to its best in order to confirm or deny validity. Any connection to issuance of the threat comment, valid or not, shall result in disciplinary actions. These actions can result in, but not limited to OSS, report to law enforcement. Referral to CSAPS or district assigned long-term disciplinary action. In addition, any student that is identified as recording videos, and or pass on or post staff and student actions without consent and that impact the confidentiality of other students will receive a disciplinary action. This includes anything not first shared with the administration as an intervention. That's considered mutiny. Right? Any student interested in an opportunity to obtain volunteer hours, please see Mr. Astro in Student Services. It's important to begin working on those SAT hours now. It's not too late to do that. Stay tuned for Thanksgiving around the world tomorrow in the Hilton Downtown Hotel in Chaseville, followed by wrestling away at New Haven, basketball home against Dearborn, and wrestling away at Woodstock. That ends our what to know. This is Carolina Ramirez. Signing off. But hold everything. There is a meeting regarding Mau Mau and Bucky's behavior that we have to see. Here it is. Hello, my name is Kiwara Janelle Wolf. I am Mau Mau and Bucky's principal. I would like each of you to introduce yourself as you would like to be addressed and have you state your role in this meeting. Hello, my name is Dave Madsen. I am Mau Mau and Bucky's assistant principal. Hello. My name is Serena Murphy. 
I am Mal Mal and Bucky's mother and environmental science teacher here at their school. Hello, my name is Lucian Klein, also known as Safety Sheriff Labrador. I am Mal Mal and Bucky's father and school resource officer at their school, in which is my first year here. Woof! The purpose of today's meeting is an emergency IEP for Mal Mal the cat and Bucky the broncho, his cousin. We will review Mau Mau and Bucky's present levels of performance, which include assessment results, strengths and weaknesses, concerns of team members, progress toward goals, proposed goals, placement options, and services needed to access the educational program, even their behavior. Before we go any further, are there any time limitations for any of you? If so, what time does the meeting need to conclude for today? Just reminder. If the IEP has not been completed in this time frame, we will reconvene as soon as possible. If not, okay great, let's continue with the meeting. Here is a copy of your parents' rights, Sheriff Labrador and Mrs. Murphy. Please remember that it is very important that you are actively involved in the educational planning for your children. If you ever have questions or concerns about Mau Mau and Bucky's IEP, please contact me. If we need to we can schedule a review IEP to bring the team back together to discuss your concerns or address your questions. Mao Mao ended up getting suspended from DeviantArt for policy violations. However, Bucky got a few community guideline strikes but Lizzie didn't receive those strikes. It's only an alternate account with a stolen email. Lizzie didn't get terminated nor suspended or anything. Well, Lizzie Willigan will be seen in my office first thing in the morning. If I'm not here and outside monitoring the car ride lines, she'll meet Mr. Dave in his office first thing in the morning. Here is a brochure that describes the Community Advisory Committee. This group provides educational and support services to parents. Thanks, Mr. Dave. Woof. We will proceed through the IEP in the following order. We will discuss present levels of performance, followed by the review of and establishment of goals. We will then determine appropriate placement and services. We will finish the meeting by reviewing what we agreed upon and any actions that need to be followed up with. Serenay and Balsin, what discussion items would you two like to add to the agenda? No getting false community guidelines or copyright strikes on YouTube, especially when it's an alternate account on the wrong email taken from another student. Woof! Avoid any deviant art policy violations that will lead to an indefinite, non-expiring suspension that you, Mrs. Wolf, will add to the CSAPS website block list and never post anything on that site again. In order to work as an effective team, it is important that we all agree to practice the following ground rules. Communicate clearly and listen carefully. Respect the views of others. Share your views willingly. Ask and welcome questions. Woof! Be open to ideas and views presented. Honor time limits and stay on task. If issues come up that cannot be resolved through brief discussion, we will place them in the parking lot to be addressed again later in the meeting or at another meeting if necessary. This will ensure that we are able to get through each of the items on the agenda in a timely manner. Decisions are made through consensus. A consensus decision involves building agreement by the whole group on a course of action. Although individual members may feel that other choices may be better for one reason or another, a consensus is built when all members come together on the final choice. Can you live with it and will you support it? Yes I will. Yes I will. Yes I will. Yes I will. Woof! Before we begin, I would like to remind you that the IEP paperwork I brought to the table is a draft. We can make changes on any of the material. Are there any questions or comments about this area? Do we have agreement on the items discussed? I know what Mau Mau and Bucky did lately. They did what Richard Warner, Jared Richardson, Frederick Carver, or Lucifer Williamson did recently. Call student Dawn Kearney's dark blue hair, which is not allowed. Also, they spied on students Owen St. Clair, also known as Trickshot, and Jun Chao Xiang Li as they are sitting on the toilets in the bathroom stalls with their laptop and bong which is not allowed, regardless of drug policy, after Trickshot kidnapped Christina Grimmy, forcing her to watch him go to the bathroom in the process of it, with their shorts and underwear down in the boys' bathroom, which is not cool. According to volunteer Kate Ursus, both of them did that both under and over the 
stall partitions and doors. Oh my goodness, that sounds disgusting and sounds sick. Woof. Are there any questions or comments about this area? Do we have agreement on the items discussed? Do they sit on the toilet together and stay together when they use the bathroom at the same time? Well, of course they do, regardless of being buddies for the first time as a cousin-to-cousin -cousin duo. Sweet. I guess that concludes this meeting. Well, thank you guys for coming, you may take the cousin-to-cousin -cousin duo home now. Mao Mao, you are grounded until your deviant art suspension is lifted, which is next week. Oh, alcohol. Bucky, you are grounded until not only your deviant heart suspension is lifted, you are grounded until you learn to stop making threats to Bullworth as airport staff and air traffic control tower. Woof. Oh, tobacco.